Hi, so welcome back to our discussions. For today, we, we will be talking about the lesson 2, Working in Team Environment. So before we proceed, let's have our objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify team, team parameters, relationship, and responsibilities, utilize the resources efficiently and effectively to manage work priorities and commitments, and make an appropriate contributions to complement team activities and objectives. Okay, so let's take this test. So try to answer the pre-test to enable you to find out what you have already know and what still need to know. So our pre-test for today is find your match. Okay, so you will just write T if the statement is correct and for and F if it is not. Okay. So, you can get another piece of paper for you to write down your answer, okay? So, first is culture is the shared values of the people in a team. Is it true or false? It is true. Next is people on a team collaborate on a set of related tasks that's, that required for the completion of the objective. It is also true. Next is the primary goal or role of a team is to search resources, competencies, skills, and bandwidth to achieve organizational objectives. Is it true or false? It is also true. Okay? So, four is teamwork creates outcomes that make better use of resources and produce richer ideas. True or false? It is true. The last one, the benefits of teamwork include increased effectiveness, the ability to focus different minds on the same problem, and mutual support. It is also true. Okay? So, what is a team? According to Oxford Languages, team is composed of two or more people that are working together. So, a team is a group of people who work together towards a common goal. So, teamwork creates outcomes that make better use of resources and produce richer ideas. Being in a team uh, increases higher efficiency, works in a faster speed, provides more thoughtful ideas, and contributes to greater effectiveness. So, a team environment is essential to a workplace. A team is defined by its composition, culture goes it wherein it is made up of people with complementary skills who have a common goal okay so what is the difference between a team and a group can you please write your answer on a piece of paper the difference between team a group so according to your to your understanding okay so when we say team it is a unit of two or more people who interact regularly, regularly and coordinate their work to accomplish a shared goal or purpose. So the key components are two or more individuals, they work together regularly, and they share a common goal or purpose. Next, a group comprises three or more people who recognize themselves as a distinct unit or department but work independently from each other to achieve their goals. So, three components are three or more individuals and work independently of one another. For us to understand the difference between these two, I have here a picture that defines a team and a group. So, let's put it this way. So, best example of a team is you and your classmates okay your section is a group for uh, for sorry for a group section is a group for you are combined based on your grade level who works independently to achieve your each other's goal while if you have joined the varsity team note that it is a team of the school you are now belong to a team who share a common goal that is to win the game okay so that is, that is the difference between a team and a goal. So the total value created by teamwork depends on the overall effectiveness of the team effort. 
Okay, so what are the characteristics of effective teamwork? First, ah, sorry. So an effective team accomplishes its goals in a way that meets the standards set by those who evaluate its performance. Okay, so first is the shared values. They have a common set of beliefs and principles about how and why the team members will work together. They have mutual trust. They have respect with each other. Confidence between team members that each puts the best interest of the team ahead of individual's priorities. Okay? Next, inspiring vision. A clear direction that motivates commitment to a collective effort. They have the skill or the talent, the combined abilities and expertise to accomplish the required tasks and work productively with others. So the role of teams in organization. So the team environment encourages reasonable risk. The team creates an environment in which people are comfortable taking reasonable risk in communicating, advocating positions, and taking actions. Team members trust each other. Team members are not punished for disagreeing. Disagreement is expected and appreciated. Respectful is a uh, respectful communication is the norm. Communication is open, honest, and respectful. People feel free to express their thoughts, opinions, and potential solutions to the problems. People feel as if they are heard out and listened to by team members who are attempting to understand. Team members ask questions for clarity and spend their thought, time listening deeply rather than forming rebuttals while their co-workers is speaking. Next is strong sense of group commitment. Team members have a strong sense of belonging to the group. They experience a deep commitment to the group's decisions and actions. The sense of belongingness is enhanced and reinforced when the team spends time to develop team norms and relationship guidelines together. And team members are viewed as unique people. So team members are viewed as unique people with irreplaceable experiences, points of view, knowledge, and opinions to contribute. After all, the purpose of forming a team is to take advantage of the differences. Creativity and innovation are the norms also. Creativity, innovation, and different viewpoints are expected and encouraged. The team members recognize that the strength in having a team is that every member brings diverseness to the effort to solve a problem, improve a success, reach a goal, or create something new and exciting. Engages in continuous improvement. The team is able to constantly examine itself and continuously improve its process, practices, and the interaction of the team members. The team openly discusses team norms and what may be hindering its ability to move forward and progress in areas of effort, talent, and strategy. Solves teamwork problems and conflicts. So the team has agreed upon procedures for diagnosing, analyzing, and resolving teamwork problems and conflicts. The team does not support member personality conflicts and clashes nor do, members mem uh, do, do team members pick sides in a disagreement, rather that members work towards the mutual resolution of the problems and disagreements. So what are the team or the keys to team's success? Teams can be benefit from team building activities focused on helping groups of employees come together as one. So one of the most important factors is the follow-up. An activity should be designed to achieve a specific outcome, then that desired outcome should be reinforced in subsequent meetings. Okay? So before we end our lesson, let's have this quiz. So for your assessment, you need to find word or statement that does, that does not belong to the group and tell the similarity of these three words. So write your answer on your notebook. So this will be two points each number. 
So 1. Higher efficiency, faster speed, great efficiency, more thoughtful concern. Which word does not belong to the group and what are the similarity of the remaining three words? Write your answer on your notebook. 2. Follow up, meeting, outcome, team building. 3. Culture, composition, collaboration, and goals. 4. Virtual teams, project teams, cross functional teams, and cross, cross familiar teams. Lastly, shared value, rewards, mutual trust, achievement. You have enough time to complete this task. Okay, so number one is the word that does not belong to that uh, set of words is more thoughtful concern. So the similarity is higher quality outcomes. Okay, so so on and so forth. Okay, so hey hey hooray, words to thunder. So according to Christopher Morler, there is only one rule for being a good talker, it is to learn to listen. So that's all for today class. So see you on our next video. Thank you.